Welcome to ComWeb's Video Orientation Series, Part 1, Site Setup. So you've just placed an order for your first HOA website powered by ComWeb. Now what? Well, in order for you to gain a deeper understanding of what the product is and how you can best use it, we'll do a quick review of the available features. Next, we'll cover what's included in your site setup. What you can expect in regards to site setup timeline and what's needed from you to get everything done. Some basic information about domain names. A quick go live scenario. Roles and responsibilities. And finally, how to get training and support. By the end of this video, you should have a pretty clear idea of what to expect in the coming month and what you can do to expedite the process. Let's start with a basic review. Your HOA website is built on a software platform known as ComWeb's homepage. At a high level view, this product contains four basic elements. At the core is the API integration with your HOA accounting software, such as Caliber, Tops, or VMS. This integration is what makes it possible for your residents to view their account balances in real time and view other things such as compliance violations, architectural requests, maintenance requests, and even pay their account online, all depending on what features are available with your accounting platform of choice. Think of it as a self-service portal for your residents to access these areas of your accounting software that would otherwise require time and effort on your part. Some associations don't use an external accounting system, so for those websites, the accounting is internal to the website instead of integrated with an external software. This all sits on top of a membership database that is also synced into your accounting software. So as residents update their contact information on the website, the information is synced back to your accounting system, ensuring that you have the most up-to-date and accurate information on your residents. Additionally, you can add in other fields to capture pertinent information such as vehicle registration. Fields are customizable to meet your management needs. On top of all that, we layer in a communication system for e-blasting residents, sending SMS messages, which are also known as text messages, and even voice broadcasts. Finally, the most obvious component is the content management system, where you're able to make information available to residents and ensure that the voice behind this published information is board sanctioned and accurate. This content comes in all forms, including informational web pages, association documents, an events calendar, including facility reservations, e-forms, news feeds, photo galleries, and much, much more. The possibilities are limitless and we're adding and enhancing features regularly. As you can see, there is a lot going on here, which is why we strongly encourage you to allow us to do the site setup for you for a small one-time fee. But what does that entail? Well, our support staff is here to translate your vision into reality within the scope of the product features. They will generally act as a guide to help keep your website in line with web design best practices and explain things along the way. If you have an existing website for your association, we can also transfer the information from your old website to your new one. Just let us know what portions you'd like to keep and which ones you want to toss. Regardless on if we're starting from scratch or transferring content, all of our websites start on the same frame, which is the homepage product. From there, we'll configure the integrations between your accounting and bill pay partners where applicable, upload and organize the association documents and photo galleries, input and organize content on the pages, organize those pages in a logical flow, configure the board area, configure the calendars and reservation systems, configure the message boards, create and configure e-forms, set up the mail server and create domain email addresses, and create a site style or theme. We do have some quantity caps on what is included in your site setup, but we find that 90% of our associations do not exceed these caps. They usually function as encouragement for our customers to plan accordingly for a more efficient setup. First is disk storage, which is capped out at 500 megabytes. This is just the file size of your website. On average, we see most associations land at around 100 megabytes after site setup, with plenty of room to grow. If your association is particularly large, say 4,000 doors or more, then we may need to discuss bumping that storage space up for a nominal fee. Next, we will include up to 25 web pages in your site setup. Most of our websites float around 10 to 20 pages. 
we will create up to three e-forms per association included in site setup and up to three site style and header revisions. Finally, there is a cap of one gigabyte of email storage included between all domain email users. To give you a better idea of what this means, that would come to approximately 9,000 emails with 3,000 attachments. Additional storage can be purchased if necessary, but the domain email is not meant as a replacement for an internal corporate email system. Okay, let's talk about timeline. Soup to nuts, this process can take anywhere from three days to 30 days. It all depends on you. Barring any extenuating circumstances, billing starts 30 days after your site is ordered. So here's what a four week timeline looks like for the average site setup. Week one is mostly decision making and information gathering. Fairly immediately, we'll need to know which accounting software you use and who's the contact person within your organization for this. What domain name do you plan on using? Which features do you plan to utilize and which ones you won't need? Your support rep will help you out on this and make recommendations based on the amenities within your community. Aside from those features, what information do you want displayed on the website? If you don't have content for those pages just yet, don't worry, but we'll need to at least get the structure laid out. For example, do you want each of the amenities on a separate page or would you prefer one amenities overview page? Go ahead and gather all the HOA documents you plan on making available to residents. Please try to make sure these are in PDF format. Governing documents, including articles of incorporation, bylaws, DCCRs and amendments, architectural guidelines and applications, board meeting minutes, agendas and annual presentations, documentation from other committees, amenity rules such as pool rules, tennis court rules, clubhouse rental applications, and other various applications for residents. Let us know who will be your webmaster. This typically falls on the association manager, but some associations have a website committee and the chairperson functions as the webmaster. Do you need any e-forms? If so, please provide a Word or PDF version of any forms you would like residents to be able to submit online. Remember, three are included. Week two is when we start getting down to some of the nitty gritty. It's time to get us the content for those pages. This doesn't have to be formatted, but we will need the information in some sort of a copy and pasteable text, such as Microsoft Word. A printed and scanned PDF is not gonna work for this because it would require us to retype the entire thing, expending valuable time. We'll need the board roster, including each member's name, position, starting and ending term dates, and current email address. We'll assign each of the board members a domain email address and ensure that they can see board privileged areas of the website. Week three is revision time. Things should really be taking shape and we'll need your input. By now, one of our support reps should have already helped you out with your administrative account. Please start logging into the sandbox and let us know what revisions need to be made. Does the menu organization need to be shuffled around? What needs to be added, edited, or removed? Then let's talk about style. Chances are at this point, we've already made you a mock-up of the site style based on images of your community and any branding information we were able to find on the web. Let us know what colors you wanna see, what kind of imagery and text do you want on the header? Finally, week four is time for final revisions and training. By now, everything should be in place, and it's just those final tweaks and adjustments that bring it all together. That being said, it's time for you to learn how to manage your new website. One of our support reps will be sending you training information via email and video and article format. At the end of week four, we should be ready to go live and invite your members to the new site. Really quickly, let's cover the bare minimum about domain names and what you need to know. We strongly suggest that you allow us to manage your domain name for you. This does come at a small annual fee to cover the cost of the domain name and renewal charges and time spent managing it, but it ensures that the domain is managed and correctly routed by a member of our staff who is well versed in domains, DNS records, name servers, and all that other stuff. You'll fall into one of two camps. Either you have a domain name or you don't. If you do not currently have a domain name for your association, 
will happily purchase one for you. Please let us know what domain names you would like. Provide multiple options just in case your top pick is already taken. Just as a quick note, shorter domain names are better than longer ones. Your residents will have a much easier time typing in demohoa.com than they would demonstration homeowners association at Comweb Internet Solutions Incorporated.com. Obviously, this is an exaggeration, but you get the point. If you do currently have a domain name, you'll fall into one of two subcategories. We can either transfer the domain into our registry or you can manage it yourself. If you decide to transfer the domain into our registry, we'll happily manage it for you for a nominal annual fee. If you decide to manage it yourself, that's fine, but we suggest you only do this if you have someone on staff who understands domain routing. Now, when it comes time for Go Live, there is one scenario in particular we'd like you to be aware of. This only really applies to those who already have a website being hosted on their domain. If this is you, please be aware that there will be a dead zone of approximately 24 hours after Go Live when you and your residents might land on the new Com website or you might land on your old site. This is just a simple caching issue and it just takes a little time for the switch to take full effect. Your support rep will discuss all other aspects of Go Live with you as the time draws near. Additionally, please check out our Go Live video. Now that you know what to expect during the site setup process, let's cover some quick essentials for after your site is live. First and foremost being roles and responsibilities. By this point, you will have become pretty familiar with your support rep, but it's time for them to cut the cord. Com websites are designed to be self-service. This is just to ensure that all published information on your website and administrative actions taken after setup are performed by someone with the authority to do so. We do not have the authority to do so unless you've subscribed to website support services. If you'd like to learn more about this, please contact sales at comwebforme.com. So the role of your support rep moves into a guidance and teacher role. They'll answer any questions and teach you all the skills that you need to know to become a world-class HOA website administrator. Now, all this may feel like a lot, especially for those who may not be the best with computers, but fear not because we've made tons of incredible and easy to understand resources available to you. Just visit support.comwebforme.com. This is our support site. There are videos and articles there to teach you just about everything you need to know about being a ComWeb admin, and quite a few extra videos on web design theory and helpful suggestions. We promise they're much shorter than this one. Most of them stick around one page or two minutes long. This is your first resource when you have a question. If you're unable to find the answer to your question, then you're also able to submit a ticket through support.comwebforme.com. First, create an account and soon you'll see a tab where you can submit a ticket. Thanks for watching. For more information and helpful tutorials, visit our support site at support.comwebforme.com.